Hello and welcome again. My name is Muhammad Dwayd and this is Motionology. Monoflob is the next node that we're going to be talking about now and this monoflob is a boolean switch that will output value of 0 or 1 true or false once we trigger it using this trigger as you can see we have three inputs and we do have three outputs the out the count and the states now once we trigger this mono flop it will output value of true or false the count will count the number of triggers the states will output a range of value from 0 to 1 and all of these things is going to be happening based on the duration that we will specify in this input port. The time could be a fixed number or we can read out the time from the timeline using a time operator. Let's say how's this work. Let's add a constant and this constant is going to be 0 or 1 so we can trigger this monoflop operator. So let's connect that to the trigger. All right. Now we do have to uh, connect the time to something. Uh, when we click this monoflop, we do have the time here, so we can specify a very specific number, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use a node that we will explain later in this series of tutorials, which is the time operator, okay? And then we will extract, we don't want to use the time, but we want to use the number of frames. So we're going to extract that, get rid of this time, and now let's connect the frames to the time. So we're going to read out the number of frames from the timeline when we play. Let's just put it this way. Now, the other things that we're going to need is a duration. So let's add another constant. And this constant is going to be connected to the duration. And let's specify a number of frames in this constant. Let's say uh, 60 frames. Once we activate this monoflop by triggering the, the, the trigger port, three things will happen. It's going to output and it's going to count and it's going to output a state, which is the countdown from the count up, let's say from zero to one. To see this very clearly, I do have three text layers out the count the state. Let's drag them all into Expresso and let's uh, connect the output first of all to the corresponding data type which is the text let's do the same thing with the count and let's do it for the state now all of the values turn to their default values which is the false because we haven't yet triggered the monoflop operator so uh, is going to output the false value the count it's zero because we haven't triggered also the monoflop operator so now let's test this monoflop operator out let me drag this window up here and then we do have a range of uh, frames starting from zero and ending to 500 so we do have 500 frames in our timeline let's go back to the constant now we do have to trigger this monoflop operator and we're going to do that by changing this value from 0 to 1. So let me go back to the beginning of the timeline and then hit play. And then let's trigger this. Watch what happen here. Let's trigger this. So because we are working in the monoflop in the normal mode, we do have two modes, by the way, and I will talk about them a little bit later. We are working in the normal node, so we do have to change the value from 1 to 0 in order for the state to work and the true value to return back to false. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to the beginning of the timeline and let's hit back this from 1 to 0. All right, it's working fine. So when we change this from uh, in the monoflop operator from normal to one shot, and now when we trigger this or change the value from zero to one, it's gonna work just fine. Let's go back to zero. And then let's go up one. Let's do it again. So each time we trigger this, the count will go up one number so let's go back to zero and let's try it one last time okay uh, one last thing that we need to talk about is this uh, is this mode so the normal mode 
will start counting down once the trigger port's value changes from one to zero, as we did. But the uh, one shot is actually gonna start counting down as soon as the value one arrives to the trigger port. I hope that makes sense. So that was it for the monoflop operator. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.